And we are green for go in Leogang Salzburger land. Who's going to lead them off the line? Lucas Schwartz barring that purple jersey as we're used to seeing him in the middle of your picture. Going extremely fast, but it's the Cannondale pairing of Hatherley. Yeah, Hatherley. And Aldridge looking good on the right-hand side, but Schwarzbauer leads him on, glove, on that first climb. Charlie Aldridge, another Cannondale rider, a good start for him as well. And Look. also uh, Alan Hatherley. Look at the chaos behind them, Scherter and... Yep, Pierre de Fremont and the uh, Green Kids. Scherter and Flukiger are going to have to navigate this. There's Sebastian yeah. Finney Carstensen in the yeah, National it. Champions jersey of Denmark. On board camera. Look at the scenes behind him, Vlad Descalu in the national champions jersey of Romania. Yeah, and the riders didn't know how important the start is. Over the bridge now towards that start finish line. You'll just be able to see here that if it does come down to Mano a Mano at the end, not much room to sprint, about 50 metres or so on really loose gravel. So Yeah, there's a lot of loose gravel. The speed is high. Probably advisable to get it done early. So the start loop is done, and now entering the, I would say, the feed zone for the first time. Many riders will uh, enter the feed zone. For the first time. You can hear the crowds lap. chanting Lucas Schwarzbauer's name, really popular with the fans. The big German. Andre Sink, with the number 36 on his back. Yeah, this will suit Sink, a great climber. Yep. Here we go then, onto this big long climb to begin with. Jordan Saru on third place. Yeah, with Nina Schurter. Valero now on the hardtail, yeah, you can see. He's no, on his hardtail bike. No shock absorber on the rear wheel of that bike. Old school. But it looks like Nina Schurter ha doesn't have his best day. No, moving backwards a bit shorter. Yeah. Struggling. But he said, didn't he? He said he still he, he loves racing his bikes, he loves travelling, he loves being a part of the team. Yeah. Why would he change anything? That one is su surprisingly to me a little bit. Winning last week and now not being in the top 20, even not uh, around the East. 31, you said? Yeah, 31, I think he was in the last way through there. Maybe lower than that now. Even lower than that. No, he's gone up 27. Yeah, 27, so, yeah. It's a long old race here, but the speed at the front. Schwartz bar's hanging in there, Bart. Burning some matches, half an hour in now. Eight riders. As they head out onto the third lap. Dubot, Dubot looking good here, Bart, yeah, I'm going to yeah, say as good, well. Yeah. We've seen a lot of this this season where the rider in second, third, fourth wheel, and look who's moving to the front now. Yeah, Matthias Flückiger. Matthias Flückiger. That red kit with the number seven on his back. Yeah, coming to the fourth place in that group. What, a, what a result this would be if Matthias Flückiger could get a top step here. Yeah, he's in for a good race. I think if he finds his rhythm, I get used to the, what we did, the adjustments on the handlebar, what he did last week. I mean, the, shape, the form is there, the shape is there, but it's not an easy, an easy uh, ride for him at all. And there's, there has been so much change. The style of the courses has changed, the bikes have changed, the athletes have changed, but cross-country racing is still the same at its heart, it's still tough. Yeah, it's still tough, yeah. And we, we had Gary Fisher in the pre-show, uh, yeah, people like that, uh, actually the founders of the sport. Yeah, right there at the start. Oh, and look at this now, Matthias Flukiger moves to the front For in Leogang. Alarm bells will ring now. Alarm bells will be ringing at the front of the race now. This man's got two yeah. wins so far in the and last two years. Now, uh, Andre Singh, immediately he's suffering with the pace. Andre Singh. Matthias is pushing down. Always a worry there when you drop back off the leaders and immediately check over your shoulder to see how much room there is behind you. Can he steady the ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see the expression on his face that he's, yeah, very, very, a lot of tension in his body uh, taking that descent. But it has to be like that. The Schwarzbauer again. Schwarzbauer at the front. Seeing a flat tire for Matthias Flücker. We are flat oh, for Matthias. No. A rear flat for Matthias yes, Flücker. Heartbreak in Leogang for the Swiss rider. So Ralph Neff, be aware for a real change. Yep.
And where are we compared to the tech zone? Yeah, they have to take the descent and have the pump track, and then suddenly, shortly, they will have the, the extra tech zone on the left side for him. But taking a descent see, and with a real flat is not an easy thing to do. And of course, Lucas Schwarzbauer knows uh, if he has a flat, and he will see it as well. Yeah, Schwarzbauer went past there. I wonder if Fluker has just done that in that last descent, do you think, Bob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was very wild, yeah, about what he said before. Well, a lot of roots, not that many rocks, but yeah, it's easily to flat, even on high speed. Riding together. <laughs> I think the pace is just so high in the descents now. Yeah, I mean... Elite men's cross country. Yeah, the man, the hard tail may have had its day. I'm yeah. sorry, Bart. <laughs> No, no, I'm agree. <laughs> I'm riding full There's this wheel change. Flukiger steps away from the bike, lets the mechanics do their job. That's uh, Alan Hatterley. Alan Hatterley goes Pierre past. Formo. No, it's not going in. It's that one not, wouldn't come out, it's sorry. not going fast, this one. Solid axles in these cross-country race bikes. They're going to have to get them in the right gear. Yeah, Flukiger already holding on to the bike, gets the bottle in. Off he goes, where does he come out? So he's behind the bow. Yeah, he lost a lot of time. This is tough mentally now, I Bart. think 40, 50 seconds it was, definitely. Gets rid of the race Luca, number, he's fed up with that Luca race Brido number. Luca Braido and that's Joshua Dubow. That's uh, These are the numbers uh, eight and nine in the race. So he's, uh, I think, 10th, or maybe ninth. Right, well, there are the leaders at the front. That shot slightly deceiving due to the length of that straight line climb. Yeah, so he was with these two. Let's see how much he lost. No, no, not in the cross-country cross Olympic. Cross Olympic. Yeah, yeah. So we get a first-time winner here, which would be pretty That's typical for this 2023 season so far. Such has been the level of intrigue. Look at Schwarzbauer and Andre Sink. Yeah, but these chasers are not that far off with Jordan Strew. Here he is. Oh, there's this uh, Matthias Flick here, of course. In it. Yeah, third place at the minute is Saru. He's 19 seconds back, so having a pretty lonely race. Flukiger stalling at Parado slightly. We thought he might go straight past him, but... Wow, look at the speed through that little wee, that little berm before the bridge. And then uh, Lars Foster on the third place. Here he is. He made up for Matthias Flugger. Matthias is a little bit further down. 39 seconds. There is Matthias Flugger. Only 32. So he's come back. Yeah, 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 he's coming back. He's Has lost 44. He's lost 10 seconds. He gained off 12 that. seconds back. Yeah. But there's not that much time. De Flamont is in front and he's about to get blasted past it looks by the Swiss rider. Yeah, that's almost uh, a, a podium again for Matthias. But this is the lead of the race. With Lars Forster, who is coming back to the leaders, chasing hard. Just a few bike length now in between him and the leading group. Look like that. I just wonder if Matthias Flukiger can find something special in this lap. Yeah, it's not over yet. There he is, the overtaking Alan Hatterley already. Look at that, right Just on before cue. the top of the climb. Haverley there, fading slightly under pressure from Matthias Flukiger. Yeah, you can see the body language of Alan Hatterley. He's suffering as well. And again, Matthias. Here he is, past Saru, come back through the pack like a hot knife through butter. And that means the top five. This is fourth place for Matthias Flukiger. Lars Foster now, who's leading. Flugiger's found three more seconds, there he is. 19 at the moment. Yep, in the tech feed zone. The leading group is Exit, Exit the feed zone, and Matthias is entering. That's the difference. Forster now yeah, to the front. Yeah, yeah, it's Lars Forster who is attacking. Attacks. Andre Sink doesn't look like he has what it takes to go with him. Yeah, it's Lars Forster who is attacking here on this climb in the beginning of that big climb in the last lap. Lars Forster. And look back under his shoulder. It means so much for these riders to take a win in the World Cup. 
Several seasons without a top flight win for Lars Forster, really mixed things up with a change of team, made a break from the Scotch Ram MTB racing team to get under Thomas Maxson. And it's finally looking like he's going to reward their faith in him. 14 seconds only. Yeah, it has been a while, like you said. A couple of years in the desert for Lars Forster, but he's roared back to the front of the elite ranks today. For Thomas Max and Swiss MTB Racing. Here he comes in, listen to the response as Lars Forster crosses the line to win his second ever UCI mountain bike cross-country Olympic World Cup in Liagang. What a ride from the Swiss rider. Look what it means to him. Yeah, an incredible performance. Absolutely incredible scene, celebrates with a bike over his head, just as Nino Schurter, his compatriot, did. Yeah, had a pretty good start. Uh, I I don't know the position, but I think around uh, tenth. And uh, I just felt good. But I I told myself, wait, wait. It's uh, it's hot today. It's a long race. Just uh, take your take your time. And then I I was riding place further, place further. And I was thinking, yeah, maybe today I doing top five. And then in the third last. Uh, yeah, I think when Mat Mat Matthias Flukiger had the flat tire, I overtook him. And uh, then I was thinking, okay, you are going for the win today. And then uh, last lap, I just, uh, I just, I knew from the second last lap, uh, I'm the strongest uphill, so I make the tempo ch just at the beginning and uh, push through from the oh, goosebumps, last 500 meters to the finish. Uh, I'm so happy. Lars Forster, Lucas Schwarzbauer, Andre Sinker, top three, Alan Haberly, Flukiger, Brido, Grio, Cooper. Germans and Descalu, top 10, great result for him. Saru, Blooms, Valero Serrano, Dubot, Finney Carstensen, Garini, De Flamon, Brido and Rom. Fidore, Scherter, Colidani, Vavak, Orr, great result for Cameron Orr there. Litcher, Aldridge, Zanotti, Holmgren. Well, the team manager said that the last thing you want to do is head out onto a last lap with Lars Forster if he's feeling good. And he was feeling good today. Attacked at the bottom of the last climb. And took the win for Thomas Max and Swiss MTB Racing. Once again from Thomas Maxson, it is Lars Forster! Lars Forster wins in Liagang.